The first topic this week is related to SpaceX. For the first time, a full-scaled prototype of SpaceX's Starship vehicle lit its engine on Tuesday evening. SpaceX founder Elon Musk confirmed that the test firing was good, saying Starship SN4 passed static fire. This test also took place less than a week after NASA awarded SpaceX a $135 million contract to develop Starship as a lunar lander. However, the vehicle on the pad in Texas is not the fully configured Starship, lacking a nose cone, flaps, and other features needed for flight. However, it has the bulk of the vehicle, including its liquid methane and liquid oxygen tank structure. On to the second topic. The X-37B is scheduled to lift off atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Florida's Cape Canaveral on May 16th kicking off the sixth mission for the robotic vehicle. This important mission will host more experience than any prior X-37B flight, including two NASA experiments. One of those will examine the effects of space radiation on seeds and other materials. Another experiment will, quote, transfer solar power into radio frequency microenergy then study transmission of that to Earth. It's unclear how long the orbital test vehicle 6 will last, but each previous has broken duration records for the program, and OTV-5, which landed on October 29th, circled the Earth for 280 days. The third topic is related to China. China launched a spaceship this week that was working normally with its solar panels in position and a communication link. The spaceship safely returned to Earth on Friday after a three-day mission. In addition, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp now also has a vehicle capable of taking humans into deep space and possibly the moon. China has said that it will eventually build an outpost on the moon. This brings us into the mini topics. Murder hornets have landed in the United States. The two-inch, five-centimeter long Asian giant hornets have been found in Washington State. The hornets made their first North American appearance in August 2019 in British Columbia, Canada. Months later in December, the flying insects were reported south of the border in Washington State. Washington State University says they are unsure how or when the hornets first arrived in North America, but beekeepers in the region have reported gruesome hive deaths in the recent month. Lastly, we're back to space with NASA confirming that they'll make a movie on the ISS with Tom Cruise. Actor Tom Cruise and Elon Musk are working together with NASA to shoot an action film in outer space. Musk himself, who was busy this week, tweeted out, quote, should be a lot of fun.